trading some rounds together. Instead, it's going to be Tyloo with the hard reset on them. 5-1 to one for Tyloo and an eco here for Cloud9. And a row of kills. Yes, Ben's head. Quad spray before he gets roasted by his own teammate. DD, what are you doing? It's going to be two players left, and Skadoodle will find the shot onto Captain Mo, but now it's a matter of just collapsing onto this site, and Didi out in the open, doesn't matter! Ska blind hits that one, and he gets the follow-up as well! He's looking to make it happen again! Ska, you're invincible! They can't take him down! Well, never mind, somebody finds the shot, but Shroud is there to be the hero. Popped it out a bit with Stewie holding a bit further back this time, nothing but a great spray! Quad kill for him, and there's the instant ace! I'd love to see... Just a bit of creativity coming out of Space Soldiers. Similar peak from Na from Guardian that we saw yesterday worked very well against Cloud9. Mm. Very hard to stop as well because when you don't have controller popped off because of the smoke that's over there, he's a hard man to challenge and he's got the backup of Flamey down here. Definitely yeah. really frustrating. That was frustrating for Automatic. Felt like he was the one who was getting roasted most of the time. And while Flamey steps in, but Engine is there to trade. Guardian though strikes right back. Drops Paz, and it's a two-man advantage now for Na'Vi. 50 seconds left on the clock, and it looks like they're going to try and commit to this Space Soldiers engine pressing forward on the A side. Guardian there to greet him with the headshot. Not sure how many people are there. Engine goes down, seized with a pick, and again, taking down Kalix. And that leaves Paz's major also fell on the other side. Somehow Guardian is allowed to live once again. And Paz just trying to fight and do something here as a quad kill for seized. Poorly about it, Na'Vi. Oh, here's the, oh, the aggression pays off. Unbelievable. Edward with two kills. Couldn't get the third, and sure enough, he delivers. I'm getting flashbacks to yesterday, Anders. Everybody's getting their round where they just get the shine. Edward with the quad. Config's gonna get over here in time, but Fury's already got the angle. Catches him off guard, but can't win the fight. Config, that's a good recovery. A little bit fortunate. Down into a three on three. That kill really gives him a chance to, to make this into a retake. If if Fur had fallen there instead of, uh, or if I mean, if Config had fallen there, then North just has to give up the round. Yeah, you could already see that Magic and Cajun were kind of considering just backing away from it a little bit. They're already yeah. just sat on B. But it, it's slightly possible, but the more the time takes, the less likely it is. Now, Molly's going to go in. Flash has come out. Well, three players are here now. They can actually start mounting this retake. Magic to connect with Fallen. That's massive. But Tarko, not going to let them move. But there we go. Finally goes down and Config again. He gets something in mind and he will not let go of it like a Bull Terrier. Just jaws locked in. Five players towards B. It's desperation time for North. The B hit, Cold Terror, the beast awaits. Phelps set up for this one. Smoke comes in and he's not going to back down. He's going to stand tall. He's going to try and control this all himself. Finally gets outdone and Cold Terror's in trouble too. Down low on HP, but still fights the good fight for SK. MSL gets crushed and he wants more, doesn't he? He's not going to back away. He wants this fight. Oh God, up close and personal, of course he gets it. And if you're the last man, if you're Magic, you're wondering what just happened, but two players through bets, maybe he can save the day. He's going to spot out another. He knows where Taco is now. Aggressive Taco's gonna drop right out. Magisk is aware of this and he wins it! The sliding headshot. Not and this is where Fur could strike. The one comes in, but there's still one man here, Taco. He waits, he waits, and he strikes! Eight seconds now on the board. Time is ticking, and they might have just run out of it. Magisk has to do something incredible. No, no! He misses up the jump! It's done! It's over! The plant come, come, it just can't come through. And oh my word. Two important piece of map control gained by the terrorist side. And he's up next. He's not even paying attention. That's a massive miscommunication. Apex is just so happy with that free kill. There's only one more player in this B bombsite. Apex is going to get him too. This is too much ground to give it up to him. Oh. And he's... <laughs> this shouldn't do a whole lot. Dolph's going to put in the smoke as well. Try and make it uncomfortable. But it's going to go right on through. Apex leading the charge. And Kenny S is going to get in on it as well. Henny now feels a little bit of pressure. Left, right, and well, now about center. But that USPS is digging him out of some severe trouble. But it's down to 2v2. We have an open Kenny S's hands. And we know what can happen when this begins. And now, does he expect it? Does he predict it? He doesn't need to. He spots it out. And now playing with time, toying with Lucas. But the bomb isn't even planted yet. And it depends on who spots out who here, but Lucas has made it pretty close here. Yeah, now the spot comes in, so Kenny can start adjusting for it. But uncomfortable positioning, but he might have the angle here, but you can see the pre-aim from Lucas. still waiting. No Molotov to clear him out as well, but it's a 4 and 4 as Kenny gets a kill in the, from the rock position. He's going to go for more spots. Oh the head, there God. it is. That's sick and shocks with one more. G2 on the verge of turning this. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Steel now. Oh my God, heads are rolling, and it's Kenny S. So deadly. Down to two now. Kenny S and Apex finding Henny is the main plan here, and Kenny wants it all. He's got four kills. <laughs> of course he does. It'll be interesting to see if he decides to be a backstabber, if he's going to come meet up with his teammates, and he is going to come meet up. Here comes the execute. 
Keo's gonna lead the way. Yeah, this is Warren. Keo's been given a lot of ground. Great flash to hinder this though. Face slow down. Glad he can get the players in the right place to make this one stop. But Flusher in for a bit of a battle here, but keeps himself alive. And it's Crims who can do so much damage here. He knows there's a player surely on boost. No, but Nico comes up with two big kills. That's going to open up so many avenues of opportunity. But still, Nico will not relent. He will not stop. That's three for him. And already hyper aware that the chance of a flank is pretty likely. So many advantages for Fnatic that route, and Nico's on four. He could get an ace. What a great round from him. He can win it all, but he's not. He takes the battle in the flames. Dennis in a one on two. This would be a huge round for Fnatic to win, but he can't do it. Good action, but Kyo's already rotated over. This is very unconvincing. And Olaf, though, he's got to step up next. Yeah, this is horrible. They weren't trading well, but the individuals have really started to shine. It's down to Kyo in the 1v2. JW's already low, and Olaf Meister is on the prowl. One minute on the board. Bomb's not planted, so Kyo can still work his way around this one. Olaf Meister on long. JW playing up from toilets. Flying for one. Oh! Oh, the adjustment is sensational, Keo. The mouse sports, Tech Nines, a Deagle as well, a partial by for sure. They have maximum loss bonus into the next round. Looking like an A attack coming in momentarily. We call squeaky door, and here they come, the final commitment. But Oscar, he says no, finds that first frag. Good shot from Forrest on the Deagle, but, oh, wow. okay, now he's got something. I was going to say, but they're still limited. But he picks up a gun, third kill for him in the round. What an entry. What a way to work with the Deagle. Molotov goes in too soon, gets extinguished immediately against the smoke, therefore Forrest can still burrow in, he's got the fourth kill, he's looking for the ace, he's got a headshot again! Right. They're gonna push him down, he knows it. He knows the elephant stampede is marching on, and he'll spray them down, go for four, come on Chris! Nope, not quite, Forrest gets the only ace so far, sorry, you're not the best. Broken wall, but they don't exactly know where to look, and Twist, he's not sure he can leave the drop room yet, so it's Liquid that, despite getting killed, doesn't quite have position, it's down to Stanislaus, a result, but he's got a kill with a deagle from far, it's one versus one, and he's got another, he's got Tarek as well, what a round!